Do you have a dream to venture into the food and restaurant business here in the U.S. and you do not have hundreds of thousands of dollars in capital to be able to start a restaurant? Walk with me as I show you how you can make your dreams come true. everyone welcome to my youtube channel the kenyan american home and today we're going to be talking about the basics of starting a food truck business here in the u.s we're going to be using sahani restaurant as an example of a business that started off as a food truck but now they have their own physical location here in birmingham alabama so really the basics before you begin a food truck business is you need to do your research. You need to know, you know, what kind of food trucks are in that area? What market is there? Do your SWOT analysis. What are your strengths, weaknesses? What are the opportunities and threats that face you? The other thing you need to do is you need to have a business plan. But then the other thing, the final thing, which is also very important, is you need to secure enough capital. And it takes between 50000 and 200000 to open a food truck business. Registering your business, business licenses and permits are also equally important. So for Sahani Restaurant, they had to get permits from the Jefferson County, the state of Alabama, and also the health department. There's also the fire inspection uh, and this could cost you anywhere from hundreds of dollars to a thousand to over a thousand dollars annually. So this is how the Sahani restaurant dream started with one of the sons. They went out and they found an inexpensive truck, uh, less than ten thousand US dollars, and then they found somebody to be able to transform that regular truck into a food truck. And so this is why you have to be careful to find the right person for this job because after it's done. You have to pass the fire inspection. You have to pass the health department inspection. And so, you know, it was a it was a white track. They transformed it into a black track. And this is kind of, you know, this is kind of how the final product came out. But then on top of that, uh, you need to have, you know, you need to have a good signage and advertising to be able to let the, your customers know that, you know, that you have a food truck. So the next uh, next process was to start to put the signage, the lights, to let people know that this is Sahani restaurant, a true Nairobi cuisine. And uh, yeah, and then after that, this is the final product. The state of Alabama requires you to have a commercial kitchen space or a commissary space where you prep and store your food. And this can run you anywhere up to $1,500 a month. So the owner of Sahani restaurant, Mr. Mbui, will kind of run us through the food truck. And then this, like this has a flat top and a grill and two fryers and this is another workstation with a fridge too. Oh. And then it has to have this the hood. Oh the with a fire suppression. Oh yeah. Is this like the ones if what uh, the water? So when you cook all the air oh, goes, goes out. Yeah. Ah. It has water. Okay. It has uh, clean water and then it has two tanks below. Ah. Uh, clean water and uh, waste water. Wow. So basically that's it. And then this is this is still the deep fryers and stuff. No, these are these are fridge too. It's a workstation more ah. like we put uh, uh, pika pika. Okay. Like greens and everything. You put them here. Okay. And then this TV is like displaying yeah, the menu. For, for a, yeah, you can do anything with it. You ah, can do the menu. You can also oh, play some it videos. It has its own Wi-Fi. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is like a portable Wi-Fi? Yeah, this is a portable Wi-Fi. Ah. <laughs> you get it with a... Where, where do you get it? Is it Verizon or...? Yeah, the Verizon is the best. Ah. Yeah. So how does it how does it work? Is it anywhere you go? Anywhere. So the register, okay. the TV, it's your own Wi-Fi. Ah. And the same... Wi-Fi. We use the same Verizon Wi-Fi out there. Okay. Wait. How much is how much is Wi-Fi like you, the portable one for you This two? one, uh, when it was alone, this one was just costing about forty bucks. Forty. Ah. But then we took uh, a complete uh, thing for thirty five dollars. Okay. Right there. Wow. But it, these are uh, front drivers. Okay. So they, they, the, oh, they, they use a portable one? Yeah, when they 
and you can travel with it? Yeah, so that they can use the TVs. Ah, so the license is, uh, is, is it the state? Yeah. Then the, the is that the, the county? county? Yeah. And then, and then the health, health. Department. Okay. What 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 are the health departments? What are they looking for? Generally, like uh, making sure that yeah, water, um, clean water. Okay. Storage of food there. When they come here, they check the temperatures of this oh, refrigerator to make sure that everything is good. Now, do they check the kitchen, the yeah. commissary? Uh huh. Uh huh. Ah, so you can't just you can't just say can you, just you can, can, can you cook at home? Can you do no no? He, in the, at least in this state, no, you can't. You can't. So you can't cook. So you need you're to. You're not allowed. So you, you need to find. You can cook, but you're not allowed. But that would be illegal. <laughs> okay. So you need to find. Huh. You need to find a kitchen that you can actually. Yeah, yeah. So you see, like that one. Okay. They use uh, they use our. Uh, oh, ki kitchen. Yeah, that's why you see, it has a name, but they still have to use a. Uh, oh. Kitchen. So they the same way you like you have yeah, the New yeah. London. Yeah. Yeah. So we have in the fire, in your fire suppression, come Yeah, there's a fire suppression for, for this, and you still ah. have to have, have that fire fire extinguisher. Your fire extinguisher. Yeah. Ah. The same. The you, get, you see the car is all. Yeah. Making this kitchen. Uh -huh. the kitchen. How much? How much did it take to like? like would you estimate? Fifty to sixty. Fifty to sixty k. Yeah. Because this was just a normal. Van. Ah. It's just a normal van. I love when you can insulation, wires, we put and band me, pipes are mighty, all that. You can AC all this. Nonsense. So, ulipeleka, I ulipeleka nini wakufanye? Ama, how yeah, do you? You give me your number, I'll show you before. Eh. The way it was before. Okay. And after. Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can send you all that. Because so, just a normal. So, ni mtu, kuna mtu, kuna mtu ada specialize kutengeneza hizi matraks zikuwe nini? Ah. Oh, in the, in the drain. So Mr. Mbui did let me know that they haven't used the food truck for quite a little bit since opening the physical location because it's been keeping them busy and they haven't yet found a good, reliable employee to run the food truck on a full-time basis. And so, you know, if you're looking to start off in this industry, uh, this could be the place for you. But also, if you want to, you know, if you want to know somebody to help you turn your truck into a food truck, uh, please let me know. You know, send me an email and I can connect you to Mr. Mbui and he can help you with how to start uh, in the restaurant business. So, yeah. So part of the benefits that come with having a commissary, you know, uh, office, uh, you know, a commercial kitchen is you get a place uh, where you can drain your dirty water uh, from the truck. But also you get a place uh, where you can dump your grease. So this is where they, you know, you dump your grease. But also, you know, you get a space where you can you can do parking because uh, you need you need a good, reliable place, a safe place where you can park your your truck at the end of the day. But also, you know, the commercial kitchen space comes with storage where you can. You know, where you, can, when you can, where you can store your food, you can prepare your food, uh, get clean water. You know, there's, uh, that's a clean water pipe to get clean water, but also storage uh, for your food. So, yeah, hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed this. Mm -hmm.